Saturday at the 15th annual Kurt Warner Ultimate Football Experience was the day everyone was waiting for. The perfect day for football. First inside, it began with a special chapel service led by Kurt himself, just as he did when he played on Sundays in the NFL. And then outside, game day gets going. With Kurt Warner's wife Brenda taking center stage and presiding over the fields, the eight-team tournament is about to get underway. Each team had a superstar getting ready. Doug Flutie, Travis Kelsey, John Kitna, E.J. Manuel, Matt Moore, Patrick Peterson, and Mohamed Sanu. Go Brady! And that's when the big surprise for me happened. Suddenly, Kurt Warner needed an extra receiver on his team. And it just so happens, I know a guy. You see, I wasn't the only person named Brown to catch a pass from Kurt this weekend. Oh hey, I know that guy. This is Brady Brown, the show's producer, my husband, and college wide receiver. Kurt asked him to suit up with his team, and I had a blast watching this once in a lifetime chance to catch touchdown pass after touchdown pass from a Hall of Famer. All of the games were competitive, fun, and just a blast to watch. So Travis, how is your team doing today? Um, you know what? I'm not I'm not the best quarterback, so I, I'll take the blame for right now. But we're 0-3. Okay. Um, but I think I, our defense is starting to get it together, so we're going to really rely on the defense, knowing that our quarterback's a tight end. You know. So what's it like to play quarterback, even though that's not your real position in the NFL? But yeah, no, it's uh, it's fun. I played quarterback in high school and a little bit in college, but. <laughs> Um, nothing in the pros, so it's uh, it's cool to just get get out here and throw the ball around with a bunch of guys that are, you know, happy to be out here as much as I am. It's a great day. It no. is. It's, it's a perfect day for football in Arizona. I mean, right? if that sun comes out, I think we're all going to be done. So we talked to Matt Moore, and he said that there are no rivalries developing. Can you confirm or deny that? I can confirm that. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of um, cheering on and uh, and rooting for each other here. A lot of. A lot of good chemistry going on between the teams, so I haven't seen anyone get out of line yet. Good. But it, none of the games have meant anything quite yet. We've got the playoffs coming up, so it might get a little heated. I was about to say, we're only halfway through, so right? we'll see if that holds. In the end, it wasn't even about who beat who. It was all about the great weekend, the action, the silent auction, the laughs, friendships, and faith. All for a great foundation called First Things First. When I sat down with Kurt, he summed up why he does it year after year. Because just like everything else in life, it's easy to get out on the field and start playing and having a good time and go, man, this is all just about having a great time and, and, and having an experience we wouldn't get anywhere else. I'm in, in the best place in the world, uh, but you can forget about really why you're there. And it's not just to have a good time. It's not just to accomplish something, but it's to impact the lives of people. And so for me, it's become a chance you know, every year and, and as we do different things to make sure that I'm focused on why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and that I stay focused on no matter how many years I've been retired or no matter how many people have forgotten what I've done, that I'm still, regardless of whether I ever played football, I'm still in an unbelievable position to impact the lives of other people just like everyone else out there listening. You know, a lot of people will say, well, then I didn't play football. I didn't have that we've come to realize that it had none to do with that, mm -hmm. right? It had something to do with us, that, that pushed us in the direction, but it had something to do with us just picking our foot up and taking a step and going, how can I impact somebody's life today?